Final, it's the final. New credit sequence, because it's the final. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, great. You know what's ironic, is the credit sequence for the first episode, they were all taking their clothes off. Credit sequence for the final, they've got their clothes on. Mm. Except these guys. Yeah. But they got their clothes on. I barely recognise them with their clothes on. <laughs> Who knew? Oh, Island, the final. Wow, they flew all those people out to, to Cape Town. Really? How much did that cost? £50,000. That's what Laura Whitmore makes in a week. Oh wow, they're actually there in the studio. Look, they're real people. Wow. So who do you think is going to win? I think it's going to be uh, Luke T and Shanice, to be honest with you. I think Luke T and Shanice are going to win because... I think they're just the most popular couple. I actually think Ched and Jess are a bit more interesting and a bit more ridiculous and that they should win, but I think it's going to be Luke T and Shanice. Every day? Really, Demi? She says, I'm going to miss waking up and not being next to you every day. So you want to spend the rest of your life waking up next to eight other people? Oh. Aren't the boys hilarious running over the beds in their underpants? Oh, it's so funny. Oh, we're going to miss all this. All this very bizarre homoerotic behaviour, yes. It's great, great, great way to start a relationship. My wife likes nothing better than when I wake her up in the morning by hitting her with a pillow and jumping up and down on the bed. Brush up on your dance move. Hashtag, it takes two to time. He said it's time to brush up on your dance move. Singular. So you need one dance move for the party, not moves plural. Yeah, I can wait. Yeah. What would you do if two people walked into your house and said, Hi, I'm going to be teaching you the tango today. I'd be like, 999 straight away, mate. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, alright, Shanice, thanks. That's it. Demi's rubbing herself. She's going to rub herself so much that a genie comes out of her. Oh, I'm playing the Gypsy Kings. In case you're wondering what their music is, it's the Gypsy Kings. It's Spa Day. Wouldn't it be funny if the Spa Day was actually like that guy who was in the news this week who said he was taking his girlfriend on a tour of spas and literally took around every spa shop in the country. <laughs> It'd be great if the orders went to the nearest spa in Cape Town. I doubt there's one in Cape Town, but it would be funny, is what I'm saying. I don't understand. If, if the final's dedicated to Caroline Flack, why did they not say that at the beginning? Why have they shown us quite a few minutes of the programme and then said it's dedicated to her? It's a bit weird. It's very sad. It's tragic. It's horrible. The thing is, you, I don't know, you kind of think the TV world is so cynical, you kind of wonder, did they read the social media posts about the previous tribute they did to her and thought, okay, it obviously wasn't enough, we better put something in the final? I mean, who knows? Who knows? Or writing declarations of love, eh? Love. Yep. Yeah. What was with Shanice? Uh, a lifetime of regret. I mean, uh, police. Yeah. Miss Fudge, my love for you will never budge. Miss Fudge, my love for you will never budge. That sounds like a poem for a six-year-old. Demi, you give me a semi. Oh boy. That's another strolling through the uh, wheat fields, Love Island moment. Oh, lovely. Oh, wonderful. Every spa day is like this for every woman. All in slow motion, beautiful sunshine, lying down, enjoying life. Yeah. You know what a great declaration of love Luke T could do for Shanice? He could do a short sleeve shirt with his face on it. 
That would be a Luke T-shirt. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A vision, a vision approaches. Wow. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's like a walking down the aisle on a wedding day. But it's a game show. It's a game show. Thank you. Oh, thank you, yeah. Shanice's dress is the same colour as the grass. She looks insane. No. She looks fairly normal for a woman at a party. I wouldn't say insane. Come on, where's Jess? Where's Ched? Where's Jess? Calm down. You're not getting married. Ah, oh, Jess. Oh, all dressed in red. Ugh. Ah, oh, he's licking his lips. Ah, oh, she's not a sausage. Ah. Oh. Who's final? Paige. Paige. It'd be great if Paige came out in a dress that looked like a piece of A4. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, nothing like a lovely white bottle of champagne. It's that famous brand, Do you know, white champagne? White champagne. We're just so grateful and lucky to have found Gil. <laughs> Alright, Shanice, you look a bit creepy. Thank you for being you. And she didn't once say, I really think I love you, or blah blah blah. Oh dear. Oh dear, Demi. Declaration of love. I don't know about this, these kind of words. You have a kind heart, I love chilling out with you. Are these love words from a woman? I'm not sure. Yeah, mm. Not sure I buy that. Thank you, Shanice. Ched is huge. How tall and big is Ched? Why did we keep cutting to Shanice's face? Again, no, no mention of the word love there. Yeah, this is uh... Come on, Finn. Uh, I'd be excited too. Possibility of an agent, maybe a book deal. You have every reason to be excited. Oh, don't cry. Where's my handkerchief? Oh, no. It's okay. No, not you, Shanice. Him. Oh, dear. Oh, he needs the handkerchief this time. It's okay, everything's gonna be alright, don't cry. It's gonna be alright, just take oh dear, don't you might get makeup in your eyes and that could cause a terrible swelling. There we go, Finn. You too. Uh oh, he's gonna say it. Hey, he said it, I love you. Uh, declaration of love. See that had the word love in it. Oh, well done, Finn. Oh. Maybe they'll win. Maybe because he said that they'll win. Yes. And all the other girls wish their boyfriends had said that to them. This is the first time I've actually understood everything Paige is saying. Ah, she's in love too, mate. Unless this is a big con just to win the money. And it could be a con. Wow. Wow. Paige and Finn. Wow. Head over heels in love. Is Shanice going to say she loves him? The fact I can't be away from you for any more than five minutes. That's very possessive then, you can't be awake for five minutes. Ah! Ooh, I love you, there we go. Well done, Shanice. See? Paige and Finn, Shanice and Luke T. I love you. There we go. Ah! See? Oh, Shanice. I'm not gonna wipe your tears, Shanice. Because you're not my favourite person on Love Island, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 great, 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 great. Wow. <laughs> you know what? That is identical to the dance that the dance teachers taught them, isn't it? It's identical. Yeah, of course. They had to do that, didn't they? Yeah. Brilliant. Terrible. Ruin all the clothes, ruin all the shoes. Oh dear, dear, I don't think I approve of that. Luke, t uh, Luke M. Luke M's gonna come forth. Luke M and Demi. Come on. Jess and Jess. You're joking! Jess and Ched came forth? You're joking. 
Demi and Luke M. It's gotta be, surely. Come on. Demi and Luke M. Demi and Luke M. I knew it. I knew it. Demi there was no way they were ever gonna win. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. You know what? It might be Paige and Finn. Because of Finn's tears earlier. Who are the favourite couple? The winner? Love Island? Ah. Come on. Taking a while. Paige and Finn, I just called it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh well. They're okay, I guess, yeah. They're nice, God bless them. Well done, oh, oh. Oh, that's great. Brilliant. Yes. Great. Great. Paige and Finn. He doesn't look very happy about it in the background, does he? Okay. Thank you, Shanice. You win every day just having each other. I'm sure you'll remember that when you realise you do not have 50,000 extra pounds. I don't get this, because I honestly thought, forgive my naivety, but I thought the couple that won just won 50,000 straight away. I didn't think they had to guess an envelope and then may not win the money and then they have to choose if they're going to share it. I just thought they won it. Right, her envelope. 50,000 pounds. Paige has got the money. Is Paige going to share it? Oh dear. Oh come on. That's a bit mean. Are you going to share it, Paige? Page. Share the money. Of course you are. Oh, of course she is. Of course she is. Can you imagine what would have happened to her if she said she wasn't going to? Ah.